Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today, we're gonna to be going over the top 10 convertibles in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now this list is not necessarily based off of performance, although some of the better performing cars will be a little bit higher on the list, but it's mostly just based on looks, how the cars are to drive, and very slightly based on my personal preference. Anyway guys, we're gonna start off with number 10. Starting off with number 10, we have the Ubermacht Sentinel Convertible. Otherwise known as the Ubermacht Sentinel, there's no real distinction for the convertible version. It just says Sentinel on the back. So a Sentinel XS will not have the ability to be convertible. Now what I really like about the Sentinel Convertible is that you can barely tell that this thing is a convertible because it does have a hard top roof. I personally don't really love the look of a soft top convertible unless the roof is down. If the roof is down, they look all right. But when the roof is up, it's kind of an ugly look in my opinion, at least. Now, the only reason that the Sentinel is at number 10 is because it is a pretty common car. This thing is very easy to get. You can steal it off of the street or buy it on Southern San Andreas Super Autos for $95,000. Now, the Sentinel convertible is a pretty good performing vehicle. It's in the coupes category. I personally like how it handles. It has decent acceleration for being a car that you can steal right off of the street and it's got an okay top speed. Overall, the Sentinel convertible is a pretty solid vehicle. Let's move on to number nine. Next up at number nine, we have the Lampadati Felon GT. Now this is another car that you can steal directly off of the street in Grand Theft Auto Online, put this car into your garage and you get to keep it. Or of course you can purchase it from Southern San Andreas Super Autos for $95,000. Now either of these is a good option. It's a great car for the money. I would recommend stealing it off of the street if you can though. Now, I personally like the Felon's performance a little bit better than that of the Ubermacht Sentinel. However, the Sentinel does have much more customization. The Lampadetti Felon GT actually has about zero customization that you can do to it. The regular Felon that's not the GT has a little more customization, but of course it isn't a convertible, which is what this whole list is about. Now, the Felon GT unfortunately does have a soft top convertible. As you guys can see, it's... Uh, not exactly super great looking with the roof up, but it could be a lot worse, I guess. Overall, the car is very nice looking with the roof down, at least not with it up, make no mistake. It's got pretty decent performance, and of course, it is thievable off of the street. So it's a pretty good car. I would definitely recommend picking up a Felon GT or at least trying one out if you haven't before. Anyway, guys, that is it for the Felon GT. Let's move on to number eight. All right, guys, next up, we have the Rapid GT Topless. Now, make no mistake, the Topless on the Rapid GT kind of implies that this thing either has the option to be a vehicle with a roof or a vehicle without a roof, but of course, this is actually a convertible. Now, the Rapid GT can be had from Legendary Motorsport for $140,000, and for that price, you do get a really, really solid little sports car. Albeit, the Rapid GT is not going to win you any races within Grand Theft Auto Online, but as a cruising vehicle, the Rapid GT is pretty darn good. Now, a lot of people really don't like the look of the Rapid GT. I personally don't really understand that. I think that this is a pretty good looking car, albeit it's not as good as some of the other cars in GTA Online, but it is still pretty impressive. Now, my one complaint with the Rapid GT is that it does tend to understeer quite a bit, which is not a great feature you don't really want understeer on your car but for the most part the car is pretty good and in a straight line it does pretty much rip anyway guys if you want a pretty decent sports car that is also a convertible the rapid gt topless might be for you but we do have some better sports cars coming up a little bit ahead so anyway guys let's move on to number seven okay guys at number seven we have the most expensive convertible in grand theft auto online and that is of course the fister comet s2 cabrio coming in at 1.8 million dollars now this thing is pretty high on the list because overall out of all the convertibles i feel like it might low-key be one of the worst ones now, that's not to say that the Fister Comet S2 is not a very cool car. It does have an active rear spoiler, which I think is absolutely awesome. However, this car does have its fair share of flaws, I find personally. Now, the first one of those flaws is, of course, the price coming in at $1.8 million. It is more expensive than any other convertible car in the entire game. And overall, it is a really expensive car given the performance that this car has, which is not very good. Getting a little bit deeper into the performance, the handling of the Fister Comet S2 is a lot less than ideal. The tail end on this car is very slidey, considering it's based off of a Porsche 911. Considering that this car is based off of a Porsche 911, 
you would expect the handling to be a lot, lot better. But on the Fisticama S2, it is really not that great. Now don't get me wrong, it will go around a corner. However, if you're trying to race with this thing and you're trying to go around corners at speed, the tail end of this vehicle is very prone to sliding out on you and becoming very out of control like you guys just saw right there. I was forcing it a little bit there, I'm not gonna lie, just to show you guys what I'm talking about, but the point still stands. The rear end of the Comet S2 Cabrio is not very good. It doesn't stay in check, it's kind of similar to the regular Fister Comet S2. Overall, the car is pretty quick in a straight line, but the handling is a huge letdown. I would have rather had this thing handle extremely well with a really bad top speed and really bad acceleration than have it be really good in a straight line, but not good at anything else. Overall, the Fister Combat S2 is a car that I would stay away from unless you're balling in GTA and have way too much money. With that being said, let's move on to number six. All right, guys, coming in at number six, we have the Enus Cognoscenti Cabrio. For $185,000, this thing is available on Legendary Motorsport. Now, I honestly feel like this car may be one of the ugliest cars on the list, but the Enus Cognoscenti Cabrio is so undriven and so underappreciated that it makes it very rare in Grand Theft Auto Online, which has made this thing get a little bit of a higher placement than I normally would have given it. I don't really know why my character just glitched into the floor right there, but we're going to move past it. The Enus Cognoscenti Cabrio is, well, let, let's not lie, the back end of this thing is not only ugly, but it also looks like the Anus Euros, which is not very good because the Anus Euros' back end does not look very good. That's just kind of an L, but we're going to try to ignore that. Now, the Cognoscenti Cabrio, like I said, is so underappreciated and so underdriven in Grand Theft Auto Online. I think that the last time I saw one of these was in probably 2014, maybe 2013. It's been a long, long time. And this is definitely not a very popular car within Grand Theft Auto Online, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately. I feel like if I had to see the back end of this thing too much, I wouldn't really like it at all and I already don't really like it very much, so I, I don't know. We're, we're just gonna, we're gonna get to the good points. Uh, the car does have very, very nice handling. I gotta say, the Enos Cognoscenti Cabrio, probably one of the best handling cars we've had on the list so far, and for $185,000, you can't really go wrong with this thing. It does have good acceleration. Top speed is pretty average, but it is an okay looking car from the front. Okay looking. I didn't say good looking, I said okay looking. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for the Enos Cognoscenti Cabrio, let's move on to number 5. Alright guys, at number 5 we have the Benefactor Serrano. Now there's two Benefactor Serranos in the game, one is the Ser- That's one, that's it right there. Dude, no way, look at that timing. That is a Benefactor Serrano, this is a Serrano. Try not to get it confused, one's an ugly SUV, the other one's a convertible sports car. Now the Serrano is available on Legendary Motorsport right at the bottom for $110,000 in Grand Theft Auto Online and for that price it is an absolute bargain. I love this car, I've had one of these pretty much the entire time that I've played Grand Theft Auto Online. The car handles really well, it sounds really good, it looks amazing. In my opinion this is one of the most modern looking cars in all of Grand Theft Auto Online. This thing looks like it could have come out in a DLC like literally yesterday in my opinion. Now if it just had a few more customization options it would make it that much better, but it does have some customization to begin with, so it's a start. The Serrano is a really really underappreciated car in Grand Theft Auto Online also. I think probably the last time I saw somebody actually driving one of these that wasn't stolen from off of the street was probably around the same time that I saw somebody whipping a Cognoscenti Cabrio. So it's been quite a while. This car handles really really well, it has decent acceleration, looks great, of course, it is a convertible as well. Unfortunately, it does have a soft top convertible, which is ugly, but hey, if this thing had a hard top convertible, it'd be over. This thing would be very, very high on this list, I can tell you that for sure. Anyway guys, the Benefactor Serrano is a great car. I would highly recommend picking this thing up, more so than any other car that I've gone over on the list so far. Anyway, let's move on to number four. Alright guys, next up we have the Enos Windsor Drop coming in at $900,000. Now this is the only four-door vehicle that we have on this list. So it is a pretty rare convertible, uh, being that it is the only four-door on the list and in the entire game as a matter of fact, this is the only four-door convertible. Which is pretty crazy considering the convertible roof has to extend that far, I feel like that's uh, something that might not work too well in real life. 
Now the Enos Windsor Drop is one of my favorite convertibles in the game. It's so luxurious. It's one of the most luxurious cars in the entire game, I would argue. It's probably within the top three, at least that's where I rank it. It does, of course, have a two-tone paint job that you can equip it with, or you can go, you know, one tone if you want to, but I've made mine two-tone. Now, it doesn't have very much customization. It doesn't handle all that well either, given the fact that it's about three city blocks long. But other than that, the Enos Windsor Drop is a pretty solid car. For being as big as it is, it really doesn't handle as badly as you would expect. It's also quite quick in a straight line, having a pretty decent top speed as well as acceleration, of course. And for $900,000, it is the third most expensive vehicle on this entire list, but it is definitely worth the price, I would say. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for the Enos Windsor Drop. I would definitely recommend picking up this vehicle, especially if you're in the market for something really luxurious. This thing has got you covered. Let's move on to number three. All right, guys, next up we have the Dinka RT3000. Now, this is one of the better performing cars on this entire list, but it's also one of the more expensive cars. Now, the RT3000 comes in at $1.7 million regularly. This week it is on sale, but I don't know that I would recommend picking it up because it's still $1.2 million. And for that price, you're still not going to win any races probably, and it's really not that great of a car. It is cool, don't get me wrong, but it's not that great of a car. However, of course, it is a convertible vehicle, which is very nice. It does sound really nice as well, and it has pretty decent handling. And from what I've heard, based on my drift car video yesterday, the RT3000 is actually a fantastic drift car in Grand Theft Auto Online, so that's very cool. Obviously, this thing was also released with the Tuners DLC, meaning that it has an absolute ton of customization that you can do to it. Now, I will say that the handling of this vehicle is absolutely fantastic. Of course, I just messed it up right when I started talking about the handling. But the car does really and truly feel very, very light. It's very responsive. Super, super fun car to drive. I wish that I drove mine a little bit more often. But there's just too many good cars in Grand Theft Auto Online. That's not to say the RT3000 isn't one of them, it's just not one of my personal favorites. Although after driving it right now, I think that I'm probably going to have to take mine out for a spin again soon. Anyway guys, the RT3000 is of course at number 3. Let's move on to number 2. Alright guys, at number 2, we have the Obey 9F Cabrio coming in at $130,000 off of Legendary Motorsport. This is my second favorite convertible car in Grand Theft Auto Online, but I do truly feel like it deserves to be number 2 on this list as well. I'm not just saying that because I like it. Now, the 9F Cabrio does have a decent amount of customization, and in my opinion, it is one of the better looking convertible cars in the game, obviously being based off of an earlier generation Audi R8, which is a very, very desirable car. I feel like a lot of people can relate or at least like the Audi R8, if not respect it. Now, the 9F Cabrio does handle really, really nicely. Like I said, it has a bit of customization that you can do to it as well, and it is the only all-wheel drive convertible vehicle in Grand Theft Auto Online, which is really, really cool. Gives it a unique little spin, kind of like the Enos Windsor Drop. Now, the 9F is very, very quick. It has insanely good handling, largely due to the fact that it's four-wheel drive. You can, of course, drift this thing quite easily if you want to. Of course, I have the spoiler option equipped on mine because it helps to give it a little tiny bit more traction. That is something that this car maybe could use, especially if you're into cars that are really, really grippy. The 9F Cabrio is not going to exactly grip up very well, let's just say that, but it does have pretty good handling. Of course, it is also four-wheel drive, so the acceleration off the line is quite good. The top speed is decent overall as well. There's really not much to dislike about this car. I feel like it's a very, very solid convertible as far as the convertibles go in Grand Theft Auto Online. You can't really go wrong with this one, especially for $130,000. That is pretty much it for number two, guys. Let's move on to the number one convertible car in Grand Theft Auto Online. All right, guys, at number one, we have the Grotti Carbonizer. In my opinion, this is one of the best looking cars in all of Grand Theft Auto Online. Of course, it is also a hardtop convertible, so when you have the roof up on this vehicle, it looks pretty great. Now, the Carbonizer is, of course, stealable off the street, but you can't keep it. However, you can buy it for $195,000 from 
Legendary Motorsport. It is right at the bottom. Now, for the price of $195,000, you get a car that is an absolute screamer. This thing sounds absolutely amazing. I love the sound that this car makes. It also accelerates very, very well, albeit not as well as maybe the Dinka RT3000. Opposed to that, I would say that this is one of the fastest convertibles in Grand Theft Auto Online. And in my opinion, it is the best looking convertible in all of Grand Theft Auto Online as well. Now the Carbon is there, has a tiny bit of customization that you can do to it as well, which definitely helps to make this car a little bit more unique if you want to do that. I personally have left mine almost completely stock because I just think that this car looks so damn good just on its own. But this is a car that I actually drive quite often in Grand Theft Auto Online, especially if I'm going for a cruise, if I need to go across the map for some reason. Sometimes I'll just hop in the Carbon is there and whip it across the map because it's such a fun car to drive. The handling is really, really awesome on this car. You can drift this thing if you want to, or you can make the car grip up pretty well. This car can pretty much do it all. The only thing it can't do is probably win your races, but who's counting, right? The Carbon is there is the one car that I would recommend more than any other to pick up on this list. I think that this car is an absolute blast to drive. Of course, this is my opinion, but I feel like a lot of people really do appreciate the Carbon is there in Grand Theft Auto Online. Anyway, guys, that is it. If you guys enjoyed this video, a like is of course appreciated, if not dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.